My name is Swara and today we are going to do reading session 1 and this can be for grade 2, 3, 4, 5. Now 5 when we'll say can I read of grade 2. Now this is for your uh, improving reading. Improving reading. So I am going to read the poem The Champa Flower grade 4 uh, of the book Sacred Heart English High School. Okay. Page number 45 you have to open. Okay. Now that is the Champa Flower. Now this is a reading of poem. Now what matters most in a poem is that how you read a poem. Now let me just take one stanza, one paragraph let me take. Supposing, see, if I will read in two tones and you tell me which one is the better. Okay, the champa flower. Supposing I became a champa flower just for fun and grew on a branch high up that tree and shook in the wind with laughter and danced upon the newly budded leaves. Would you know me, mother? You would call, baby, where are you? And I should laugh to myself and keep quiet. Keep quite quiet. Then I said, it was not so wonderful, right? Now, if I say it in a singing tone, so see, for a perfect poem, for a perfect poem, it should be in a singing mode. In a singing mode. Okay. And even in a poem, you should follow punctuation. Now, I did not follow punctuations. You should follow punctuations. First you read, okay, grade 4 students, punctuations, punctuations and I am not going to explain, okay. So these two things you have to keep in mind and the tone you are speaking in and the volume you are speaking in. Now see, I will read this one poem and let's see how I read it. Lesson number 6, the champa flower. Supposing I became a champa flower just for fun. And grew on a branch high up the tree and shook in the wind with laughter and danced upon the newly budded leaves. Would you know me, mother? You would call, baby, where are you? And I should laugh to myself and keep quiet. I should slyly open my petals and watch you at your work when after your bath with wet hair spread on your shoulders you walked through the shadow of the champa tree to the little court where you say your prayers you would notice the scent of the flower but not know that it came from me then after the midday meal, you sat at the window reading Ramayana and the tree's shadow fell over your hair and your lap. I should fling and we little shadow on the page of your book just where you were reading. But would you guess that it was the tiny shadow of your little child? When in the evening you went to the cow shed with the lighted lamp in your hand, I should suddenly drop onto the earth again and be your own baby once more and beg you to tell me a story. Where have you been, you naughty child? I want to tell you, mother. That's what you and I would say then by Rabindranath Tagore. Now see, I read it in a different tone, in a different passion. Now that's how you read it. Now I read it like a song and I read it with punctuations. So like that if you read and just see if there is a right name, right? So say by blah 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 whose name was there. So by here was Rabindranath Tagore. Okay. So in this poem we saw this and another poem you open open in your book. Please don't read this poem. I will again read it for you. Okay. Please don't read this poem. Please don't read this poem.
poem it's only meant for me that's it just move along now there's nothing here to see besides i'm sure you'd rather just go outside and play so put the poem down and slowly back away hey why are you still reading that isn't very nice I've asked you once politely don't make me ask you twice I'm telling you it's private do not read one more line hey that's one more now stop it this isn't yours it's mine you're not allowed to read this you really have to stop if you don't quit this instant i swear i'll call a cop he'll drag you off in handcuffs he'll lock up you or lock up in jail and leave you there forever until you're old and frail your friends will all forget you you won't be even missed your family too will likely forget that you exist and all because you read this instead of having fun it's too late now amigo the poem's nearly done there's only one solution here's what you'll have to do tell all your friends and family they shouldn't read it too by kin nasbi okay now one word i said handcuffs cop frail right instant means immediately at the same moment now i'm teaching i should instantly run towards anybody to get something so if i am teaching also i should run there because that's the thing i wanted so immediately at a moment cop policeman cop policeman i will call a cop he will drag you the cop will drag you so like that cop means policeman handcuffs a metal device that the police use to bind a prisoner's wrist um we said hath kadi i guess policeman uses it to lock their hands this okay wrists okay so this wrists they just do it frail you are frail you are looking frail you are looking weak so weak and we learned to the spanish word that was amigo amigo spanish word we learned spanish word okay and that's meaning is friend now you try to say your friend hey amigo what's going up he will also say what is this amigo right so amigo means friend okay and in this we we, uh, we have done our second poem now let's see our third and fourth poem we are going to take two more poems to the only poem from our whole book thomas alva edison the great scientist okay so let's read thomas alva edison a most unusual boy never really bothered much with any childish toy his teacher thought he couldn't learn and sent him home from school but thomas mother knew for sure he wasn't any fool he worked as a newsboy on a train he learned to telegraph the way he constant concentrated made some <clears throat> people laugh thomas alva edison had inventions by the score and his laboratory he he kept inventing more the phonograph electric light with fuses sockets too a super storage battery and movies were few if not for mr edison how the dull our lives would be the we might not have the radio the x ray or tv okay okay so now uh, from this poem how i read it it was also good and thomas alva edison you can search also it is the best poem i guess you will love it okay hi that's why i didn't like this because i need water i'm thirsty now open your eighth chapter now eighth chapter after the bell of a three there is a chapter called magnificent machines see granddad built a gadget made of wizards hooks and springs my little gadget granddad said can mend just anything so bring your broken toy along 
broken china too then press this button my machine will make them good as new we brought a pile of toys along my best friend brought a bike that's right said granddad for me cute bring anything you like but the gadget built more gadgets from the broken battered toys which ran about on little legs around the girls and boys then they rushed start it grounded on their twinkly tail on their tiny twinkling feet and granddad hopped and shouted as they chased him down the street सर डबल ही पड़ा लक्षा मुझे जाने तो सर विचर जा सर विचर कभी कभी राइट See, writing also improves your these two things. Now you have to do as the homework. Parents, let them do this homework in their copy. Okay. <clears throat> so, thank you for watching the video. Okay then, bye bye.